For years, the Egyptian pyramids have been a mystery. The giant structures have stood up to the test of time, and have even caused divide within the archaeological community. One thing that researchers found strange is that the Egyptians littered their walls with details about how they lived, what pharaohs ruled which times, battles, and various other things. One thing they remained silent on though was how they created the pyramids. A team of archaeologists from Egypt and France discovered an ancient papyrus diary, and this was written by an official named Mera. What makes this discovery so interesting is that it's the first time that a first-person description of the pyramids has come to light. This diary could hold the key to many mysteries of the pyramids. The diary details that Mera worked alongside Ankhav. This individual is important as he was Pharaoh Corfu's half-brother. This diary goes on to explain that Corfu's half-brother was behind the Great Pyramid's construction, making him one of the best architects this world has known. The diary then details how the pyramids came to be. It explains that limestones were taken from a site called Tura, which was over 10 miles away from Cairo. Once collected, it was then placed on boats and taken down the River Nile. The massive stone blocks were then placed at the construction site, where they were placed on tracks and pulled using ropes. It's estimated that over 160,000 tons of limestone was moved from this location and taken to the construction site. Some archaeologists have spoken out about this, and for one specific reason. The reality of this discovery is that it's just a piece of paper, and in recent years, archaeologists and Egyptologists have noticed an interesting pattern, and that's that there's been a lot of forgeries discovered around ancient complexes. One of the biggest discoveries that helped to launch the careers of many self-proclaimed experts in the study of Egypt was the discovery that the pyramids of Giza were constructed by the pharaoh Khufu, of which puts the pyramids at a certain date of construction and time. The problem with this discovery is that the only evidence of the name of the pharaoh referenced on the pyramid was an old carving in the Campbell's chamber that many believe could have been the cartouche of Corfu and his royal signature. As it later turns out, the carving was an obvious forgery with the dating of the piece, the damage done to the piece and even the incorrect spelling and carving of the cartouche being the smoking gun evidence, and proved that it was nothing more than Egyptologists looking to take on a false sense of fame and fortune with their published works. This led some to say that an incredibly large piece of history is being completely wrong, and given the fact that the majority of works in the modern day were built of these ancient findings, it appears the experts have gotten it completely backwards. Not only is there physical and scientific evidence of the pyramids being much older, possibly even older than human civilization itself, but it appears that the Egyptian government has politicized this issue, so that no other people and countries can lay legitimate land claims in these territories, causing some to question why they would do this. This has led many Egyptologists to not believe true evidence of dating, references to the timeline of an actual reign of a pharaoh, and even the complete rejection of any ideas involving alternate explanations of construction, time frame and even historical impacts. This is one of the issues that rises when forgeries are discovered in these types of locations. Not long ago this happened with something that Egyptologists called the nonsense hieroglyphs, and it seems that a pattern is emerging, and this is that there's many forgeries that have come to light within the last few years. For decades, a group of Polish archaeologists have been working to excavate the Saqqara necropolis. This necropolis was inside the ancient capital of Memphis. Inside is filled with ornate tombs. Obvious that this particular necropolis was reserved for royalty. Nearby in a dig taking place in September of 2018, Egyptologists were working in an area between the Pyramid of Djosa. It was here they discovered something out of the ordinary, when tombs of royalty or other important people are uncovered. They are often filled with graved goods symbolizing their importance. Some are even labeled with hieroglyphics. Modern hieroglyphics have been around since roughly 32nd century BC, with the first full sentences appearing in the 28th century BC. The written language consists of over 1,000 distinct characters. With this ancient language unlocked, 
researchers can decipher all kinds of things about the tombs they decorated, including who they belong to. That was until the dig near the Pyramid of Djoser. Here, the team found roughly 500 simple burials. These burials were simple, and in no way as neatly done as those of the royals. One could even call them clumsy. It's thought this could have been a burial site for the working or middle class people. Although the coffins had much damage and were often found empty from looters, one coffin remained intact enough for the team to study. On the lid, where the name of the deceased would often go, were what is best to be referred to as an imitation hieroglyph. They didn't make one bit of sense. The researchers believed that possibly the painter was illiterate, and simply tried to recreate glyphs they'd seen before. Furthermore, figures of Anubis, guardian of the underworld, were painted in blue instead of his usual black. They described the coffin as beautifully clumsy. It's in our nature to question the unknown, and when we see these incredible feats it leaves us in wonder. Finding the truth in historical discoveries is always going to be tough, especially when evidence has been stolen or tampered with, two things that happened a lot through Egyptian history. When you start to introduce things like fakes it only becomes more difficult to unravel the truth. It was only recently that researchers discovered that many of the Dead Sea Scrolls actually turned out to be fakes. Five pieces of the scrolls were sent to Germany's Federal Institute for Materials Research to be tested, and in late 2018 they announced the truth of the test results. None of the scrolls are genuine, and are merely modern recreations which managed to fool the museum collectors, founders and even the most famous biblical professors, scholars and researchers until now. So it seems that we still have a lot of work to do. So what do you make of this recent Egyptian discovery? And do you think this explains how the ancient pyramids were created? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.